Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about what exactly is inactive conversions in your Google Ads account and how you can fix it. Basically when you set up a new conversion in your Google Ads account um, under status if you see that the tracking status is inactive it basically means that the conversion action is unverified. In simple language the tag has not fired yet for Google to detect that hey a conversion took place and it's a valid conversion that's basically it and the short answer to fix that problem is to artificially fire that conversion now what I mean by that let's say your conversion action is filling out a form right and the way you will typically set up that conversion is you will click on new conversion action select your website you know enter your domain name um, and then you will use probably Google Tag Manager to um, set up that conversion action uh, and then uh, I'm hoping that you will be using the conversion label uh, to set up that conversion through Google Tag Manager and you will make that tag to fire only when they visit the thank you page right that's typically one scenario the other scenario is let's say if you are running an e-commerce store and that tag um, that you have set up is for sales and it will only fire when they complete the checkout right that's another option the third type of conversion is like let's say someone clicked on a phone call uh, that's an, another example or if they clicked on a link you know again there are multiple ways you are tracking conversion but if it shows inactive it basically means that the tag has not yet fired so all you need to do is uh, click on uh, this troubleshoot over here and what will happen is it will open tag assistant uh, tag assistant is basically you know you know if you if you go to this website tag assistant.google.com and then enter your uh, website URL and then click connect it's going to open your website in a new tab and over here while this tag assistant is running you need to complete that conversion now in, in the first example I mentioned is you know let's say someone fills out a form and you're tracking leads uh, and if that fire if that tag gets fired on a thank you page all you need to do is uh, go to that thank you page now in this case what I've done is I fire uh, a conversion action when someone fills out a form and they go to this thank you page that's pretty much it that's all you need to do basically you need to artificially fire that conversion now, when they go to this page um, my tag gets fired and it's going to report back into your google ad account now you just need to wait for maybe a couple of minutes or it might take you know some time to process it but essentially what's going to happen is as soon as Google Ads detects that hey the tag was fired it worked well this status will change from inactive to active that's pretty much it um, now the only thing you need to first of all make sure is that you have set up your tag properly now it's a completely different topic on how to set up conversion tracking I have a bunch of videos on, on my YouTube channel from you know tracking button clicks to form submission to booking a meeting to phone clicks um, you know phone calls uh, there's a lot of like videos I have posted on how to set up conversion tracking through Google Tag Manager for your Google Ads campaign so ensure that first of all your tag gets uh, fired and it's set up properly uh, after that the issue about inactive status is it's pretty minor issue it's basically as I said uh, it's unverified it's never never fired so that's, that's why you know it's inactive so as I said um, the only quick solution is hit troubleshoot it will if you hit continue it will basically open tag assistant or you can simply go to tagassistant.google.com enter your website URL and artificially fire that conversion right forcefully fire that conversion in, in, in other words um, the only thing I would say is if you are an e-commerce brand and if you're tracking sales then you might need to buy a product like literally buy the product uh, and test it out there's no no other way 
uh, again my my hack is to create a 100% coupon code uh, if you're using shopify so that way you can discount out the entire purchase value and if it's a high high order value product then again you know you might have to just create a 100% discount code and test it out and uh, ensure that you actually buy the product uh, not a test product a live product on your live shopify website so that way um, you know google tag can detect that hey it was a purchase and it will become active so that's a quick video on what exactly is inactive conversions in google ads and how to solve inactive conversions using google tag assistant if you like this video make sure to like subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time thank you